Hello boys and girls, spray shop is just there, little spray booth. I get asked lots of unusual questions now, and one of the questions that came up was, how do I mask off my drums before spraying? So let's go in, is it? Come in with me, and we'll go and have a little look. Let's just pick you up. Okay, so these are little air filters, obviously. So as the, because I spray with, um, two pack paints, you know, the industrial paints, they're not home products. Then what happens is keep the doors shut, warm the booth. I just made everything by the way. It's uh, it's not, you wouldn't spray like cars or big jobs in here. This is just for drums. And I'll just explain why I can get away with things in here that you wouldn't in a, in a sort of a car body shop type spray booth. Um, but I do have those in, so they just filter the air coming in because I have the fan that blows out the back um, going that way. Okay, I've, unfortunately my paper's broken, so I've got to get a new filter. This just catches all the dirt. We try to be as eco-friendly as we possibly can, reuse things as much as we possibly can, clean things out regular, um, so we're not wasting stuff. So the first thing I do is to get my masking tape, which I haven't got any with me at the moment, and I mask the holes. So let's just show you here as an example. So I just go around, look, and I just mask all the holes, and I label everything on the inside. Customer. This is kit A and kit B because these are uh, going up for sale. These are these are going to be orange swirls on these uh, shortly. So that's that's what that's about. So I label them kit A, kit B because once you've primed 30, 40 shells and they're all out there, then the problem is with the priming of all the shells is they all start looking the same. It's very difficult to start working out except for sort of like badge holes. You know, I can tell a Premier badge hole to a Yamaha badge hole and so on, but it still can get very confusing or very easy to make a mistake. So everything is labeled on the inside. Everything is masked off on there. So I don't worry about the outer part of the hole. I just mask away. Um, so it's, it's clean. So I got a completely clean surface. Now then, how do I now stop the spray going on the inside? Well, I have these, look. These are my babies all my little circular discs. So as you can see here, I'll give you this one as an example. I, I have my poles, it's a quite a heavy steel bar, and then I put my disc on there, and I got lots of discs. And I keep all my discs on the floor down there, and then I'll put another disc on there, and I bolt it down, I physically, literally bolt it down. My big spanner, whoops, just dropped it on the floor. My big spanner, look, okay, that's the, uh, big spanner ha! so flick you around and there they are so there's one at the bottom one at the top one bolt and I squeeze it down so it's completely sealed and then the reason that I do that as well is because underneath my drum there's a long peg that goes in there and this is when I invented my it's like a coffin doesn't it but I invented my wheelie spinny here so what happens is when I power up I can change the amount of gears that I want in here and in here, and that will spin at the speed that I choose, and I stand here. Now, this is why it allows me to leave product in the spray booth, such as my racks for hanging the drums up. I got my little mixing area there, and I keep my bits and my bobs here. In a, in a car spray booth, for an example, the whole place is completely clear. Everything is done outside. But to save space here and all the rest, I do it all in. We spray against the wall just to, psh, psh, looks mad in it, but that just blows the color through, makes sure there's no dirt, everything is correct, and then away I go. And I can get away with it like that because none of my product is on the floor, so no dust can come up, and none of my product is being sprayed all over the booth. It is literally only ever in one place. So I come in and I go, psh, 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 finish it, move it, next one, and so on. And it's all fireboarded, just built in fireboards and all the rest, just in case, steel cupboards and so on. The only thing I'm gonna to do to change is at the moment, I then rack by dropping them onto there. So I'm going to change this so that I'm going to put with my pegs, see I have various lengths for big drums, short, small drums. I'm going to put my pegs horizontal. So what happens is, is when I spray the drum, I can plonk them horizontally like that, which makes them settle better than vertical. And I might, later down the line, I may just chain that up and uh, put a little mortar on so that they, they just turn in 
not fast fast but I can plonk them in like that and then they will just turn and I leave them for 20 minutes or something like that that's something I may do I, it's not critical because the cutting back isn't a great amount anyway look this has just been sprayed you can see it's very smooth as it is but there is a bit of orange peel just there see here Oop, there it is there so that's what we're going to do and I keep lots of these discs and I, and I have to get rid of them after a little while because the paint just builds and builds and builds to a point where they're too, too big and you either have to clean them off or just break them but they don't need wood so it's eco-friendly wood goes back to ground as it were bits of plywood and so on uh, and that's what we do <coughs> so that's how I mask my setup I gotta get a new filter in now this week I'm going to have another big clean down. About once a week I have a big clean down, a hoover and blow everything through. And then I start all over again. And there's a fan behind there, as I said, that draws the air. And I wear masks as well, always. Always wear your mask. So that everything is, is top notch. I keep spare masks and different stuff and all the rest of it. So that's how I do it. Hope that answers your question. Hope that's sort of of interest to you. And um, the skill is not the fact of um buying the product the skill is knowing how to get from a to b and that takes time and years of practice and time of cutting and polishing and working and seeing to color match and seeing how to produce nice colors what to achieve that that's locked away in that little soldier up there take care over and out give us a thumbs up a like lots of these small interesting videos hopefully coming out on youtube look after yourselves Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. Of course. Bye.